It's now a, a very great pleasure also to finally introduce uh, Dr. Jordi uh, Salas, uh, uh, an, another great friend who, uh, who entertained many of us at Stressa, um, sorry, many of us um, at uh, Reyes, uh, at his, uh, his, his own uh, base. And uh, Jordi is, uh, is the, uh, is, is a, is the lead investigator of the of the new Predimed study and one of the lead investigators of the last Predimed study. So, he will tell us, I think, some uh, some some tremendous uh, news, and I think we've probably shown most of his slides um, during the course of the last two years. I think everyone has shown most of his slides, so he doesn't really have to put many slides up. He just has to talk to us. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for your introduction. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a shame, but today is my last day here in Toronto. Uh, I have a flight in approximately three hours, but I would like to publicly express first, again, my gratitude today to all the organizers, and uh, especially for this uh, excellent and friendly symposium, especially to John and Cyril and David. I have, a, I have really enjoyed the, these beautiful days, and especially these nice and interesting discussions. Uh, and, and I have learned a lot of all of you. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to talk today about the PREDIMED Plus study. Uh, two days ago, I showed you the results of the PREDIMED one. And uh, this is an ongoing uh, project. Uh, related to the look ahead. So it's fantastic, the, this introduction uh, made by uh, Dr. Horton. Uh, here you can see uh, my disclosures of commercial support. Uh, my institution has received research funding from the INC, who is supporting this program. And I am also a non-paid member of the scientific committee of the, this International Food and Drug Food Foundation. Here you can see other uh, disclosures. But the PREDIMED Plus sponsors uh, had no role in the design and conduct of the study. This study has uh, uh, founded by the, the agency, the National Agency uh, of Health uh, in Spain. And uh, also we have uh, the, the nuts and the olive oil for uh, giving for free to the participants. But the, the companies uh, that give uh, this uh, uh, keen uh, products uh, had no role in the design of the study, the collection, management, analysis, interpretation of the data. Uh, what is the rationale of the PREDIMED Plus study? The rationale is that no study has never demonstrated that weight loss and maintenance using a hypocaloric diet and physical activity promotion reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease and mortality in individuals with overweight or obesity. So the objective of the PREDIMED Plus uh, uh, trial is to evaluate the effect of an intensive intervention on lifestyle based uh, in an energy-restricted Mediterranean diet, physical activity promotion, and behavioral therapy in order to lose weight, to maintain this weight, and uh, in order to demonstrate the beneficial effects of this intensive intervention on the primary prevention of cardiovascular disease. Uh, we have uh, only one trial that has addressed this question, is the look ahead. But the look ahead is, has been conducted on diabetic individuals, uh, more than 5,000 with overweight, uh, they have observed differences in changes in body weight after 10 years of follow-up, as has been uh, shown by Dr. Horton. But this study has stopped in September 2012 because of futility. After 9.6 years of follow-up, no differences in uh, cardiovascular 
incidence and mortality uh, have been observed uh, after this uh, follow-up. There are many explanations, probably, of this uh, futility. Uh, why the look-ahead failed to find differences in cardiovascular disease and mortality? This is uh, an important publication uh, conducted by Jean-Pierre Desprez and published in Nature, Review Cardiology. And he uh, has several questions on the current paradigms in primitive cardiology raised by the look-ahead. For example, do patients with type 2 diabetes need to do more physical activity and exercise in order to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease than individuals without diabetes? Or another question that I think is an important question is, should we focus on caloric restriction or put more emphasis on improving nutritional quality? In case of the look ahead, they use as a diet a low-fat diet, and we think that low-fat diet is not the best approach <coughs> for preventing cardiovascular disease that we have shown on the PREDIMED trial. Mediterranean diet for weight loss. As you know, there are several strategies that have been uh, tested in order to lose weight, especially the strategies changing the macronutrient content of the diet. For example, a low-fat diet, a hyperproteic diet, a low-carbohydrate diet. But we think that probably the type of fat, the quality of fat, the origin of fat, in this case, the vegetable origin with phy phytosterols, with phytochemicals, etc., the type of fat or the quality of carbohydrate or the origin of proteins, of animal origin, of vegetable origin, are more important than the, uh, the amount of the uh, macronutrient. For example, here you can see several strategies. The low-fat diets. The low-fat diets have demonstrated that decrease, uh, are, uh, have a decreased long-term uh, adherence and relapse are low in vegetable fats, vegetable oils, so probably this conduct to a reduction in the consumption of vegetables. Or we have evidence of failure. For, for example, the look ahead or the Women's Health Initiative Dietary Modification Trial. In case of the low carbohydrate diets, uh, it has been demonstrated beneficial effects on blood pressure, on fasting plasma glucose, in lipid profile, but these improvements were lost after 12 months of follow-up. Uh, usually, low-carbohydrate di diets are rich in saturated fatty acids, so increase LDL cholesterol. So it is a major factor, a major cardiovascular risk factor, increasing the risk probably of atherosclerosis, and are low in several healthy nutrients such as fiber, calcium, magnesium, uh, potassium, several nutrients that are very important and are related also to cardiovascular risk. So another pos possibility is another approach is a, to, to use a traditional Mediterranean diet. A traditional Mediterranean diet is rich in vegetable fat of, from o olive oil and tree nuts, high in unprocessed vegetable food, vegetables, fruits, legumes, low in low, low consumption of meat and meat products, moderate consumption of fish and uh, wine, and rich in phytosterols with low glycemic load, and healthy in terms of cardiovascular prevention, but because we have demonstrated a 30% reduction in the incidence of new cases of cardiovascular disease and mortality uh, in the PREDIMED trial. Do the Mediterranean diet increases the risk of weight gain and obesity. We have uh, evidence that come from epidemiological prospective studies. Here you can see, in general, several studies, several prospective studies, some of them large studies, showing that Mediterranean diet adherence is inversely associated with weight gain, with uh, waist uh, circumference gain, or obesity risk. So this could be a 
good approach for testing. And also we have a clinical trial. This clinical trial that uh, has been conducted by Iris Shai uh, uh, and with a collaboration with May Stanford from Harvard. In this study, the, the direct trial, in this trial, it, uh, it has been randomized 322 individuals and test the beneficial effects of the Mediterranean diet on weight loss and maintenance. Here you can see the results in the, of, the, of this diet study in terms of weight loss. Uh, here you can see the low-fat diet, the Mediterranean diet intervention, and the low-carbohydrate diet intervention. And as you can see, the Mediterranean diet and the low-carbohydrate diets are effective alternative to the low fat in, in, uh, in comparison uh, in relation to the weight loss and especially maintenance. But in case of the Mediterranean diet, it has been observed more favorable effects on glycemic control. So what do we know? We know that the Mediterranean diet has passed the test of long-term sustainability, nutritional quality, and effectiveness in terms of cardiovascular prevention. So the hypothesis that a low-calorie Mediterranean diet might be the most sensible approach for weight loss and prevention of cardiovascular disease. We have published this letter just at the end when it has been published, the look ahead. So here you can see the design of this PREDIMED Plus study. In the PREDIMED 1 study, we have compared a low-fat diet to uh, the advice to follow a, uh, an unrestricted Mediterranean diet. Now we, are, we go to another step, is to compare the same unrestricted Mediterranean diet that we have used in the, pre, in the first PREDIMED trial to another intervention uh, medi uh, with a Mediterranean diet, uh, energy-restricted Mediterranean diet with physical activity promotion and behavioral intervention in order to lose weight, to maintain this weight uh, in the in time, on time, and uh, probably this could be related to a decrease of cardiovascular. We, we have, um, for this, we have um, uh, calculated the, the sample uh, with the data, previous data of the PREDIMED trial, and uh, we need, for this trial, 6,000 individuals. Uh, here you can see the eligibility criteria, uh, men and women between 55 and 75 years, with a body mass index between 27 and 40 kilograms per meter square, and meeting uh, three or more metabol uh, crit criteria of metabolic syndrome. Only 25% uh, of the population will, will have diabetes. We have limited this to, in order to be different from the look ahead, and uh, we will randomize, we randomize now the, the population to the usual care using the same recommendations that you give to the participants in the, in the PREDIMED one and to uh, the others to an intensive weight loss lifestyle intervention uh, uh, with a uh, restricted Mediterranean diet. Here you can see the recruiting centers, 22 recruiting centers in Spain, in red, you can see the recruiter centers of the PREDIMED 1 trial. And in uh, green, you can see the new recruiting centers of, uh, uh, in the PREDIMED uh, PLUS study. The primary endpoint of the, of the PREDIMED PLUS study is a compendium of uh, myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke, or cardiovascular mortality but also weight loss and long-term weight loss maintenance and weight circumference changes. Here you can see the secondary endpoints, uh, all related especially to body weight and weight loss, total mortality, stroke, myocardial infarction, quality of life, heart failure, atrial fibrillation, peripheral artery disease, type 2 diabetes and its complications, different types of cancer, neurodegenerative disorders, depression, stuporotic fractures, cholecystectomy, cataracts, gout, and also here several intermediate outcomes, for example, nutrient intake, uh, blood pressure, 
uh, lipid profile, fasting glucose, kidney function, uh, the medication needs, uh, C-reactive protein, implicated hemoglobin, liver function, cognitive function, dep depression scores, etc. The, this study has started in November 2013. I planned plan to finish in July 2016, the, the recruitment. Participants are recruited by medical doctors from primary care centers associated to the recruiting centers, and physicians involved in, in the recruitment will be the responsible of the medical care of the participants, but we have a, another team, the, the, the PREDIMED plus team, that are composed by dietitians and uh, uh, nurses that uh, give the intervention to the participants. Uh, here you can see the, the recruitment just uh, one month uh, before. Uh, now we have uh, recruited 1,800 uh, participants, and we expect to finish the recruitment uh, at the, uh, July 2016. Uh, we have planned a run, a running period, but also uh, in order to, to assess the candidate willingness to participate in the study and predict the compliance with the intention intervention of four week periods. Um, and we have planned two years of recruitment, six years of intervention, and two years of follow up. Here you can see the intervention protocol uh, after the run in period, uh, randomization uh, to both groups, usual care or intensive lifestyle intervention with. Mediterranean diet, restricted Mediterranean diet exercise and behavioral treatment. Uh, we have planned during the first two years uh, several contacts for the inten intensive uh, lifestyle intervention, three contacts, contacts every month, one individual contact, one group session, and phone contacts also. And in case of the usual care, we have only contacts at baseline and, uh, and every six months and yearly after, uh, during the follow-up. Uh, the group uh, sessions uh, with no more than 25 uh, participants. And here you can see the data collected. Uh, we collect data especially at baseline at six months and yearly during the follow-up, several data, uh, physical activity data, in relation, for example, with accelerometers, blood samples, several samples, urine samples, several questionnaires of cognitive function, quality of life, etc., etc., etc. How uh, the intervention is implemented? Uh, we recommend uh, in the to the intensive intervention group. We recommend an energy restricted Mediterranean diet pattern, aiming to reduce energy by 600 kilocalories per day, approximately 30% of energy requirements, increase the overall quality of life, promoting the consumption of minimal processed foods, increasing the consumption of typical Mediterranean diet food, and refrain from elements of the Western pattern. We give for free to all the participants one liter of extra virgin olive oil uh, per month and 500 grams of mixed nuts. Uh, you, we we use, use a, a tool in order to negotiate the goals with the participants in order to scale in a 17 uh, score uh, uh, as we have used in the PREDIMED uh, one trial. We have used a 40 point score measuring the adherence to the Mediterranean diet and we have changed this 40, uh, 14 score uh, because now is an energy restricted Mediterranean diet, and we use uh, several changes in this score. This is the, the 40 point was validated, and we are, uh, uh, this need to be validated. But uh, we, in this case, we have a 70 item screener in order to change the overall food pattern of the individuals. We planned a specific intervention uh, on physical activity with a gradual increase in physical activity, especially risk uh, walking or equivalent, and a specific behavioral intervention 
with stimulus control, problem solving skills, and relapse management, and the implementing, implementation of several self monitoring tools, for example, waste uh, or weight uh, uh, self monitoring every two weeks, uh, physical activity with pedometers, and uh, the, this 17 item questionnaire. Here you can see the, the, in case of the control group, minimal intervention by the, by the dietitians with the, the same uh, uh, recommendations that we give for the PREDIMET 1, uh, with total energy intake at libitum, no specific recommendations on physical activity, no weight, waste, and uh, physical activity self-monitoring, and no aims to lose weight. Uh, we give also the same amount of virgin olive oil and nuts in this group is a, for us is a tool in order to have more adherence to the intervention. And also this uh, uh, screener is just to collect information of the participants. So no instruction, instructions on how to lose weight. If participants wish to lose weight, they can contact with the primary care physicians or other health professionals for counsel and weight reduction strategies in case of the control group. Here you can see the steering committee, Ramon Struck and Emilio Ross uh, from uh, Hospital Clinico, Miguel Angel Martinez, Martinez from the University of Navarra, uh, Dolores Corella from the University of Valencia, and uh, Dr. Fito from uh, the IMIM in Barcelona. And here you can see the data safety monitoring board uh, to ensure the smooth uh, running and of the trial and the safety of the participants that is chaired by Mayor Stanford, but also uh, other members are Joan Sabaté, Arn Astro from Copenhagen, Francisco Fernández Aviles, and Javier Pisonier from Columbia University. Uh, I take the advantage to acknowledge uh, my group of research, uh, my human nutrition, in the human nutrition unit in the Faculty of Medicine of Rovira i Virgili University that is located in Reus, that is a city 100 kilometers south of Barcelona, and the principal PREDIMED uh, investigators. So here you can see the, the, the first PREDIMED investigators, the, 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 the PREDIMED one, but also there are other now, new, new uh, PREDIMED principal investigators that need to be there, but are not in this slide. Uh, thank you very much.